So there is a new app gaining in popularity that lets you use any photo on your phone to create personalized singing videos. It's like deep fakes meets karaoke, but not everyone thinks it's harmless fun. Jennifer Williams in the newsroom now with more at why some cybersecurity experts are raising red flags. Jennifer. That's right. Wombo AI will automatically make a video of you singing along to a song, and there's no performing necessary. But after users have uploaded photos of celebrities and political figures, many are wondering if this seemingly just for fun app could be used for more sinister purposes. You take a selfie, you pick a song, and then our AI makes a video of you singing that song. Wombo AI is a lip sync app powered by artificial intelligence. It's super easy to use and has exploded in popularity. It's well beyond anything that we expected. We're at over 20 million downloads in just under three weeks. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of exciting stuff planned, so I think it's only going to continue to go up from here. While Wombo AI isn't as sophisticated as some deep fake creators, there have been concerns surrounding how realistic the videos look. Though it's made to look comical and uh, overproduced, you could uh, probably use in the same spirit that AI to create uh, an image that looks a lot more realistic and have someone saying something that they never had said before. When you watch WWE, you know it's fake, but it's still fun for you. And so I think we're kind of operating in a similar psychological territory. Meanwhile, cybersecurity experts caution that these apps can serve as collection points for both biometric data, such as facial recognition, as well as personal info. Your phone number, uh, your maybe if you allow your contacts being downloaded, whatever you allow this app to do on your phone is going to do. So that free comes with some price. You probably need to check some security features and see is there anything does this app have now access to all your photos? The developers of the this particular app, I think, are content to just use the technology for giggles and grins at this point. But you could see someone taking that same concept and using it for ill. We delete your data every 24 hours and we don't use it for anything crazy. Uh, just me and a few other programmer guys who made this thing for fun. And, you know, we hope that you have fun with it, too. The managing editor at Tom's Guide told me there are more sophisticated tools available to the public right now. Ancestry.com has an app that can animate your old photos, bringing Aunt Mabel virtually back to life. It's very realistic and eerie. I thought I'd spare everyone so you can sleep tonight. Google at your own risk. Stephen Derry? Yeah, Yikes. it is wild what they can do. I know. <laughs> Thanks Snapchat, for scaring us. All that yeah. stuff. <laughs>